By the end of this video, you should know all your notes on the violin strings as well as the names of these strings. You should also be able to play Twinkle Twinkle Little Star after what we're going to be doing here because we're going to use this note as a demonstration. If you know this note, it's going to be easier for you to play popular songs, go online, look for songs, and when you see this note, you can easily play them on the violin. So that's why this video is very, very important. Make sure to watch all the way to the end of it. Let's get into it. Welcome back to Tugs Violin Academy. My name is Samuel and I give you lessons, tips and the secrets you need to take your violin playing to that next level. Be you a beginner or an intermediate violinist. So if you're interested in that type of content, this is the time for you to hit that subscribe button, turn on the notifications so when the videos come out, you don't miss any piece of it. Let's get into the lesson for today. So for beginners, for us to be able to play the violin, we need to know what the notes are. Right, so we're using our left fingers to hold the string down, we're holding down different notes, which is what we're going to learn today. Right, with this note, we can play simple songs like Happy Birthday, Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, and other songs as well. So let's say this is our violin string, or this is the neck of our violin with four strings on it. The first string, the tiniest one is called E, the next one is called A, that's the second one, and third one D and the other one G, right? So this is smallest and then the little bigger, little bigger and then the bigger strings, right? Usually we have some tapes or usually you, your teacher is gonna put some tapes on the instrument for you to show you where the fingers are. So this first tape is going to be our first finger, second, second, third, and then fourth finger. So first finger, second, third and fourth finger. So this is A. Just remember how music alphabets go. After A, we would have B, and then we have C, we have D, we have E, we have F, and then we have G, and then it goes back to A again. Exactly what we're going to be doing here. So after A, first finger on A is B, second finger is C sharp, right? This number, this number sign in music is called the sharp sign. So whenever you see that in music, just know that that's a sharp. So second finger C sharp, third finger is D, and then little finger is E. These are the notes you have on the A string. For the D string, we have first finger E. What do you think second finger is going to be? F sharp right there. Don't worry, we're going to demonstrate this just now. And we have third finger G. And finally, we have little finger A. Right, so these are the notes you have on the A and the D string. Let's demonstrate that before we talk about this other two string. So we have our A. That's our A string. Make sure your violin is tuned. If you do not know how to tune your violin yet, I've made a video for that. So you're gonna see that link right there. Make sure you go look that out and um, tune your violin first. So we sound the same moving forward. Let's get back into it. So we have A, that's open A string. First finger on the A, that's our B right there. Second finger C sharp. Third finger D, and then little finger E. This is what I advise, right? Do this, let's say two counts for each of the fingers twice, right? Go up and then you come back down. This should be a consistent part of your warm-up sessions, right? That way you're going to get very, very comfortable with the fingers doing this. So for example, one, two, one, two. B now, which is first finger on A. Make sure you're bowing correctly, C sharp. Third finger D, good. Little finger E. Then you go down and so on, all the way um, to open A string again. Same thing you're going to do for the D string and same thing you're going to do for the notes we have on these other um, strings as well. Before we show you the notes we have on these other strings, let's play Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. I'm going to give you the notes for Twinkle Twinkle Little Star using just the notes on these two strings that we've done. So let's do that. Right, so here we have our notes for Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. All these notes are going to be played on the D and A string. Remember that, right? So for example, two Ds, those are open D string. If this were to be third finger D, you're going to have an apostrophe with it showing that that's the higher D. But D without anything, those are open strings. So we have two Ds. Two open A strings. Open strings means no finger on it. Two Bs, which are first fingers on the A string. And then we have A, which is an open string again. So let's try first line together. We have two Ds. Two A's. Two Bs. And then a big A at the end. 
Good. So as you see, this note can be used to play the simple songs. In fact, these are the notes you're going to be using moving forward. Even when you start learning how to read music, it's this note you're going to be dealing with. Let's try the second line. If you've not subscribed yet, this is the best time for you to do that because videos like this are coming for you every week. You could have this channel guide you in your journey with the violin, right? From complete beginner to where you're going to master this instrument. So hit that subscribe button, turn on the notification, and you're gonna have all this goodness I just mentioned, including tutorial videos of popular songs as well. So do that and let's get back into the video. We have two Gs, third fingers on the D string. Two F sharps, two E's, first finger on the D, and a D string open, right? Good. So if you put both lines together, we're gonna have. One, two. Make sure you're bowing correctly. And then the last part you have in that bracket there with the times two means we're gonna do that part twice and after that this arrow says we should go back to the beginning after we've repeated that part. So let's practice that part. We have two A's, two G's, third fingers on the D string, two F sharp, second fingers, two E's, first fingers. All right, and then we do that again. Remember the last note um, of every line is a big note, so we do those notes for two count. Then we have it again. G's, F sharps, E, and now we go to beginning. Two A's, two B's, a big A. Second line, F sharps, Good, and that's it for your twinkle twinkle little star. Um, starting off, you're a very complete beginner, right? Focus on bowing, focus on doing um that warm up I mentioned to you with the fingers going up and down. Use that to repeat your bowing movement and get your right hand used to it. Good, last part we're going to do for today is notes on the E and the G string. So you have all the notes in the first position on the violin. Let's do that. Good, so on the G string, just like I mentioned to you, remember our music alphabet starts at A and finishes at G. So this is going to be A after G, right? And then we're going to have B, and then we're going to have C, and then we're going to have little finger D. The question might be, what's the difference between this D and this D? They're actually the same thing. Just that one you play with the fourth finger, and one you're playing as open string, which you're going to learn more about as you move forward on your violin journey. For notes on the E, we're going to have our F sharp. Take note of that, right? First finger on the E is F sharp, and then we have G sharp. And then we have A and then we have B, right? You see that E string is a little bit weird, right? Starting with F sharp, G sharp, A and B. So good. If you want to be able to play the simple songs, the phone tunes, you need to get yourself familiar with this first. So as you move forward, you can learn easily. Because if you're just memorizing the finger numbers, it's not going to help you. That's why this is very important that you get mastered. All right, so that's it for today's video. Make sure you've liked it. If this video helped you, make sure you've subscribed. Make sure you're part of the channel so you do not miss next set of videos coming. And I will see you in the next one.